everybody, so today I'm going to do a huge AliExpress haul. I actually have more stuff coming, but this was a, a lot of stuff. So if I go through it all, it's probably going to wind up being a long video. So I'm, when I get the other stuff in, I will do another video. This is vintage themes, um, mostly stickers and stamps with some cards and some papers, um, and I'll go through it all. I kind of went through already and kind of marked down the prices in the stores, so I will put a link to all the stores in the description box and I will tell you as I'm going through what stores everything came from. So the first store is, and forgive me if I say some of these wrong, this one is from the Toblone store, T-O-B-L-O-N-E, um, Toblone, Toblone, I don't know how you say it, but um, so I got a lot of stuff here. But I thought I would share because some of the things um, were right on what I thought they were going to be and some of the things kind of where I was surprised because maybe I didn't look at the sizing and were a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Um, so in this store I got a lot of stamps. Um, mostly stamps and some stickers. So let me kind of show. This is one of the things that I kind of did not look I thought this was a sticker and it's not so these this is something I was kind of disappointed on um, so this is paper and when I went back in it did say paper so it's nice paper I just kind of thought these were stickers for some reason so it's just paper there's like two of every sheet um, and it's just regular paper but it does have oh you know that vintage Kind of vintage, some of them. But if I had known that this was paper, I probably wouldn't have bought this because this was a dollar thirty-two. And because on this store, if you buy more than ten dollars worth of stuff, then it is free shipping. So for a dollar thirty-two, it's not a bad price. Um, but it, like I said, it was just paper, and for some reason, I kind of I was buying a lot of stickers, and I thought these were stickers. Um, so. I got this is a stamp um, so I got this stamp because I am making a lot of vintage type papers and envelopes postcard type things so I got this and this was a dollar seventy-nine store and then I got these and these I just thought these were pretty and all these stickers for the most part almost all of them are like washi stickers and I really like the washi stickers so this is just kind of oriental, kind of Asian themed um, houses and stuff. So, just gonna spread them out. So, this was not, it's probably one of the only things that wasn't kind of a vintage theme, um, but I just thought they were really pretty. And I really like the washes because I think they'll stick if you want to put them like journals or. You know, on top of things, they'll kind of melt. All right, so this is these pack. These two packages were a dollar thirty-four, and I'll open these up. And I won't go through like completely. It will we'll be here all day if I have to go through every single thing. But there's two of everything, and I'll show you guys just to get an idea. Um, these are birds, so you can see like the packaging you're going to shop. There's the package. So if you're going to shop for this stuff. And there's a lot of like writing and these are all kind of birds. And these are also in that washi. Kind of like zoom in a little more for you guys. Um, so still in that washi theme. Let's show you guys. I ordered a bunch of stuff on June 2nd. And then I ordered, and some of the stuff took two weeks, and um, some of the stuff I ordered on June 2nd, I haven't gotten yet. Um, and then I ordered stuff on the 17th and 18th, and I've gotten that stuff. I started getting that stuff like a few days ago. So it's interesting how some of the stuff comes like within two weeks, and then other stuff has been like a month, and I haven't gotten it. Okay, so this is um, same thing. These are stickers, and they're like washi stickers. To say there's 60 in each of these packs and again there's two of each one so I like 
postcards. Some of these are little postcards. These are, let's see. There's a happy birthday one. This one says happy birthday. Um, this one's, you got on my nerve, something good. postcard themed so you can see those you scroll down on the store you can go down and it will show you pretty much like all the stickers that are in the packages so that's why I'm not going to spend too much time going through them all, all right so these package was this package was a dollar ten Pretty much these are similar to the other ones. watched a video um, and I can't remember who did it but it's on some kind of subscription box and people were I guess making comments because comments because the person who made the box um, she's I guess you know she curated the stuff and a lot of stuff was from AliExpress and people were kind of complaining that you know oh well I could just get it on AliExpress but the thing is it takes a long I mean I have no problem like I don't mind searching for this stuff but I spent a long time searching for these things I mean you know you can spend hours and hours going through the stores finding like the prices a really long time so I mean and again if you want this stuff in a hurry this stuff you know could come as the sooner it's gonna the quickest it will come is two weeks and you have to pretty much figure you're gonna you might wait over a month now some of my stuff I'm still waiting it's been shipped and they ship pretty quickly I mean all the stores generally ship with like the next day or um, within a few days but sometimes it takes over a month I'm still waiting for stuff that I bought on June 2nd and I haven't gotten it yet um, so here are some more kind of bird and flowers and I want to say these packs only have 40 um, and so these are more similar these are all kind of similar so there's not as many in here but as these packs, I mean, these packs I know had the 60, these packs were $1.34, and then these packs were, what did I say, $1.10. So, I mean, you're probably better off with the bigger packs. They're all pretty similar. And again, a lot of the stores sell the same things. It's just checking prices. Okay, so those are the stickers. Um, then I got these stickers. These were 87 cents. Um, and they're kind of similar. These are more, same thing, kind of vintage, florals, some clocks. Um, I think there's two of every single one of these in here. Okay, so if you can see all these. So, I like, I mean, I, I know I'm kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. Um, I may even do the same thing, like um, stuff that if there's too much stuff, I may even like put some little kits together. Kind of my goal might be to like, not just this stuff, but maybe like some papers and some stuff I might make. Because I make a lot of the stuff, but I don't necessarily know what to do with it, because I don't really do... Um, junk journaling so I might make up some kits with papers I've been printing out some papers and stuff and maybe I'll take some of the stickers and you know maybe I'll put some stuff on sale I haven't decided yet uh, so um, so this one is similar um, this is the other one pretty much the same thing floral things and, and these are also like the washies washi stickers so you can see 
cases. Like, I like the packaging. Like a lot of these packagings are cute, like these little boxes and stuff. Then I got a bunch of stamps and I actually, I mean, we could kind of stamp them out. I don't know if I'll do all of them to show you um, what they look like. So let me kind of, this is, um, so this is a Moleskine journal. So it's got nice smooth paper. And maybe I will stamp some of these out on here. So this stamp, so the bigger stamps, let me show you. So this one, this one, and this one. These were 263, 265, 240. So these stamps are two change. This one was 225. So they kind of went by sizes. I believe this one was 225. So I'll show you the prices. So these were like the anywhere from 240 to 263. Um, I'll show you the stamps. So they're wood stamps, and most of them have the white rubber. And I haven't used any of them, so let's stamp some out. And I'm just using some archival ink, some Ranger archival, uh, which probably isn't very juicy. This is a older pad, but I didn't want something like too much. So, here. Okay. So the smaller stamps, like these size stamps, were um, a dollar fifty. This was a dollar fifty, and this one was a dollar fifty. And then these stamps were all ninety nine cents. All these were ninety nine cents. And these smaller ones, these were 99 cents. This one was 10, this one was 106, and these were like 89 cents. Okay. So I'll show you some examples of these. These have an orange background, um, and this one you can tell, like the stamp, it's just stuck on here. Um, if you can tell, it's kind of it's off center so I mean they're not the best stamps but for 99 cents they're fine so this one I really like um, this one's very kind of nicely made um, like this one a lot okay so now we have these four which were a dollar 28 each um, these green ones so you can see these are the white and so that is it from the toe blown store um, I really like these I think are my favorite stamps but um, overall, and you can see I didn't do a good job because I was trying to do this somewhat quickly. Um, so, I mean, the stamps are pretty good quality. They stamp very nicely. Um, as you can see, this is a Moleskine journal, so it, there is bleed through, um, which this journal is just has anyways. So, yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, the most expensive stamp was like two something. And if you know, like, you know, you buy stamps here, they're better quality, but, you know, they're expensive. So, um definitely happy with everything I got from this store. I think this whole bag, um, I spent probably all this stuff that I just showed you from this store, I think came to like $40, $40 some of the dollars is what I spent in this store. So not too bad if you think about all the stuff that I got from here. I mean, there's a lot of stamps and some stickers. Um, definitely well worth, I think, you know, definitely well worth the money that I spent. This is from shop 4540037. 
and these were 88 cents with 32 cents shipping and if you don't normally buy from AliExpress if there is shipping um, you pay for each shipping on each process you know, even though I bought three of these it wasn't like they were 88 cents and one 32 cent shipping it's shipping on every piece um, so you have to be careful of that um, so these are regular stickers with the white kind of outline to them and there's two of each one so if you can see um, very pretty there's just kind of a, just a vintage theme there's butterflies and um, it's really like envelopes and some clocks and gears and some flowers so very um vintage there's keys kind of vintage themes so I hadn't taken these out the feathers different feathers and stuff the only other thing I had ever really bought in AliExpress was kind of a diamond painting kit so this was one of my first ex kind of you know experiences and then I realized, you know, I think now when I go on, I kind of bookmark the shops that I liked. And I think, you know, like, it, it does take a long time to go through all of this stuff. So, so these were kind of flower, I guess, stamps. Um, and they're stickers. And just kind of show you. Again, I don't want to go through every single one but you get the idea they're really pretty um next thing I got was this and this is pretty interesting okay so this is the Wong Perland shop um or store and these were 83 cents but 279 shipping so three change for this but this came really packaged very very nicely this is something um you know, and this is too bad, like I said, if, if it was just like, you know, 83 cents and if I bought five of them, I only had to pay this 279 I probably would buy more of these. But the fact that, you know, there are three, you know, you have to pay the shipping on every single item. So these came and I opened it, so I kind of messed it up. Um, these are really nice. So these are like postcards. Goodness gracious. Um, and these are really... So they're postcards, and they're vintage themed, but they're shiny. I don't know if you can, and they're a thick card. It's not like regular cards. Like these are really like kind of shiny, and they're really good kind of quality. Um, and if you look at the back, they have like a little stamp kind of postage stamp. But you could mail these out. I mean, they're definitely. Um, and I believe they're all different. So I'll just go through them. one's really pretty. So, I mean, definitely these were really nice. Um, I love these. And so I was impressed like with this, especially with the packaging that they come in. Um, definitely I was impressed with, and I think this is the only thing I got from that store. This definitely kind of gave me a sample card um, of another card, a sample. Okay, so this was a disappointment. Um, and this is an example of really looking at sizes to see what you got. Because I saw that these were cards. So first of all, it said they were cards, and I think it said they were like greeting cards. So I was thinking they were greeting cards, like fold over cards, and they're not, and they're very small. I was thinking they were much, much bigger, and here's like a, I'm not sure, like, um, so they were very pretty, and I kind of thought they were going to be like greeting cards. And they weren't. Um, but I'll show you. So they're small. Again, so some of this stuff, maybe, you know, I might put together some kind of, like, ephemera type kits, and if I do, then I'll probably put together, um, maybe I'll put these. So they're a glossy, kind of, you know, again, they're a thick cardstock, and they're shiny. I mean, you can make little, kind of, like, little cards with these. I mean, you could definitely make smaller. Here's the back of them. They actually have a little printed on the back. So, 
again, you, you could, I mean, I could make like little tiny cars, like little thank you cars or something and make cars out of them. So I put them on kind of a card base, but I definitely thought they were going to open and close. So these are them. And what did I pay for these? So these were 33 cents a piece, but they were $1.26 shipping. So you're paying a dollar, so they were $1.59 a piece. And I, again, not sure what I will do with these. So there's that one. And they're Lomo cards. And these all say, this is Paris. Uh, I guess they say what they are. Locus. Um, kind of skipping through. Wisteria. So they're very pretty. Um, you can definitely. They're definitely pretty. And I guess these aren't vintage. Very vintagey. Um, sorry. Camera is going in and out of focus. And then there's this one. And these are strange because these are a little bit bigger. And these have a blank back. If you have any examples or good ideas or you know what people do with these, um, feel free to let me know because I'm still not sure. I have a whole bunch of them now. I'm not sure what to do with them. And they are very, very pretty. So this is from the Golden Time Trade and it was $3.59. So this was a little bit pricey and these are stamps and um, I thought that they were going to be real stamps and they're kind of just paper. Um, they're not real stamps, which makes sense that they're not real stamps, that they probably, you know, just had stamps, maybe real stamps, because they do have, like, the postage stamping on a lot of these. Um, so there's a hundred in this pack, and they're very pretty, and they're very, like, they're from all over. They're definitely just paper. They're not, they're not adhesive. They don't, they don't stick, because I tried. <laughs> this one actually feels a little different, but they're really cool. There was a couple of different sellers that sold different kind of stamps. This is from Sweet Party House. This was $2.98. And these are more washi floral stickers. Um, I think this is like the first thing I actually got. So some of these are pretty big. This is the packaging they come in. Um, and you'll see this a lot if you're looking for like floral stickers or vintages, but look at how big these are. And I believe there's a couple of each one in here. Um, so yeah, they're various sizes, but definitely big. Mushrooms. I don't really like mushrooms. Just some leaves. So you can see. This is another store that's pretty popular. Um, this is from the Moham store. And these were a lot of stickers. And this is from, it's M O H A M M, Moham store. And they don't, they have free shipping. So let's start with. And so this pack was two oh one, and I have two packs like this. These were both two dollars and one cents. Right. Okay. Okay. So these are various sizes. There is three of each one of these. all vintage a lot of vintage again I seem to have a lot of floral type themes some of these are different this has like a car it says it's a secret um, um, 
also washi stickers again. This one, somewhat interesting. And if you look on the back, this one was $233 also. If you look on the back, you know, it shows you what the picture is of all of them. And when you look on the website, if you scroll down, it always shows you um, kind of what they are. Because every, like, when you click on the store, it's going to show you, like, probably 10 different sets, sometimes more or less, and then you would click on the one that you want. Um, so this is um, a few of each one. I'm not a fan of all of these, but some of them are pretty cool, like um, this postcard one. This one's really neat. Um, kind of like giant stamps. These are more like postcards. This one's kind of weird. Um, And these are stickers, big stickers. Really like those. Um, those are really nice too. These cute little tiny postcards. So they're all different sizes. Um, just kind of a bunch of vintagey. You know, it's a lot of stuff you can find a lot of these things like on Pinterest, but I fact that this one's really pretty too. Um, the fact that you know they're stickers is really neat. And especially for the price, I mean, these were $233, so I think these are definitely worth the price. Um, and I actually went on, like, Amazon to see, you know, because they do take so long to get. Like, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can go on Amazon and get the same stickers and just get them much faster. And if you find these on Amazon, they're generally, they are, like, seven, or they charge a lot more. So if you wanted to get them... So that's why I don't really mind the people who curate or sell. I don't think there's really anything wrong with these people because if you got them on Amazon, you would be paying a lot more money. And I will actually put some links for people who might want some of this stuff. If I find them, I can put some Amazon links um, to some of this stuff and you can check them out if you didn't want to wait that much longer. Okay, so I got these and these are floral and again, more of um, almost everything I got was kind of like these washi stickers. Which I really like because they're transparent, so they'll blend into your background or whatever you put them on, and they're almost like a vellum-y kind of feel. So these are like a floral, um, definitely. There's some numbers. Um, and these are really pretty. Um, there's like two of each one. I think these are some of my absolute like. This is one of definitely one of my favorite. I might have actually bought another packet couple packets another package of these because I was I got these pretty early on and I was pretty impressed with these um, and what did I say these were these were 152 wait no were these 152 let me see these were okay these were a dollar 46 for these stickers um, and there's 64 in here two of each one so you get like 32 different stickers in here. And definitely these are, I think these were my favorite. And here's even like a border. And there's some like tags. And then these are similar. I mean, these are kind of more of a pinkish and I think these have more of like, they're similar, but with more like a brown, but I don't know anyway. So. There's some more like, there's like like notebook paper, and these are frames, um, some more, some ice cream, tables, there's a couple of thank you, some cupcakes, these are kind of, um, some little cloud quotes, um, there's some numbers in here, some kind of tart doilies, stockings, um, some bottles, so some stamps postage type stamps. This was $1.52. And these are mostly kind of, again, they're washy. And there's like two of each of these. And these are just all little sayings. Pretty cool. These I actually saw somebody else do a haul express and I kind of like them. So I ordered these. These were 79 cents and I got two packages the same. These have gold in them. Kind of like vintage food, I guess you could say, like a candy shop type. 
So there's a couple of each one. There's like a gumball and there's like old popcorn and chocolate bars, but I don't know if the camera picks up that they're got like a gold foil on them. Let's see if you can see. But they do. They're shiny. They're shiny. There's ice cream and cupcakes and candy and popcorn and Coca-Cola. Um, so I got two of those. There are 32 pieces in here. Okay, so this is also from the Mohan store and these are the flowers. Yeah, so I knew I bought these twice because I got them and I really like them. So I ordered them again. And that's the flowers I just showed you. And then this is another pack that is kind of more of a vintage theme. So there's uh, numbers. Oh, this is like flowers and butterflies. So butterflies and some birds, some word stickers. There's some music sheets. Oh, that one's really pretty with the dragonflies. These are kind of clear and kind of clear. So they're really like almost like film. I they're like almost like vellum stickers. Um, so I got that. And again, these were um, this was a dollar fifty-five for these. So I think the second pack were cheaper because when I ordered them on the seventeenth, they were doing kind of like the AliExpress sale. So, so some of the stuff was a little bit cheaper. Okay, so these is the pen nib daily store this was 95 cents with free shipping and these are stickers 24 pieces okay and they're just like mini postcards and i don't know if i thought that these were going to be bigger maybe this might have been another thing that because they're postcards i think i thought these were going to be a little bit bigger Maybe not. They're kind of cool. It's all different kind of postcards. This was from shop 4205028. And these were $1.11. And these are regular stickers. They're not washi stickers, but they're in a stamp. They have like the stamped edge to them. So they're like a stamp. And there's three sheets in here. These are definitely very vintage. But you don't get that many, so I bought two packages of these at $1.11. Alright, and then the last thing was um, that so far that I've received were these envelopes. And these were 78 cents. And it's the same thing. 78 cents and it is free shipping. Oops, lost one. And these were little envelopes and definitely these were smaller than I thought they were going to be. I pretty much thought they were going to be a lot more like those other, I mean I guess I was thinking they were going to be more like this size. And, um, and if you, when I go back and I looked at the picture, and I mean, it kind of, I guess, shows that they're pretty small because they show, like, but, um, so these were 78 cents free shipping, and they're envelopes, and they open, um, they don't seal, they don't have a sealing on them, um, so, but here they are. Twelve, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's twelve. Twelve for seventy-eight cents. I mean, that's definitely a good price. You can't beat the prices. And I mean, I think the quality. I mean, you know, AliExpress doesn't maybe sell the best quality merchandise, but when I mean, when it comes to stationery, I mean, China is you know good on stationery, and I mean, I don't think it's the quality to me. I think it's just fine. And you really can't go like in the store, especially with the washi stickers. 
you really can't go find like washi stickers anywhere. Like I've been to Michael's and I don't see those there. Sure, I, I didn't mark what store these came from, but um, I could probably put the link down below. And these are like sticker stamps. Um, they're stamp, they're stickers and they're stamps. I'll just show you. There's like two of each one. And I know they were pretty cheap, probably like 80 cents or so. Um, they're definitely like 70, 80 cents. This is my AliExpress haul. Um, I hope I gave you guys some ideas and uh, like I said, I'll put the links in the description. Um, I mentioned the store names and I'll just link the stores at the bottom so that if you're interested in getting any of this stuff, a lot of the stores sell the same things. Like I would see the same things, these stamps and stuff like on more than one store. So if you just type in vintage stamps or vintage stickers, it's going to come up and you'll see the different options. But I will definitely put the links down. Um, maybe I'll even put like some Amazon links if you don't want to wait for the stuff to come to China. You can find some of this stuff on Amazon. And when I get the next stuff, I will definitely do another haul video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.